2011. It's in the books. And while 3 and 9 doesn't look very impressive, there were some memorable moments during the 2011 season. Boyd on third and eight. Play fake against pressure. He is hit as he throws again. Got a man intercepted. That's Balson. He's at the 50 in Clemson territory. Hurdles a tackler at the 45. He's to the 40, to the 30. He's got room to the 20, to the 10, and he's down to the eight-yard line. Out splits three receivers to his right. That's the near wide side as he takes the snap from Swindoll. Throws over the middle. Got a man. It's complete. Thomas, what a great catch. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. Men of Troy. He finally slid down, 29-yard gain. Robinson wants to throw over the middle. He's got his man, Justin Albert. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, man of Troy. Ready to throw again. A lot of time, throws over the middle. It's intercepted. Intercepted by the Trojans. Here comes Ladarius Madden with a full head of steam. He's to the 20, one man to beat. He's to the 10. The pursuit is near there, but he scoots right through, and he is in. Touchdown, man of Troy. Third down. Gilgore gets the snap. Troy will rush five. Here comes Jacoby, and they will get him. Loose football. Loose on the ground. Here come the Trojans. This is Pickett. Nobody's going to catch him. He speeds down to the promised land. Touchdown, men of Troy. Let's see if that happens here on this opening drive. I think he's exactly right. Motion across from Felton Payton. They're going to fake an end around. Robertson's going to go deep. Man, wide open. Thomas got it. Touchdown. Corey Robinson pumps his fist in exit. Exaltation, superlative play call. They executed it to perfection. Got a pistol set for Robinson. Turns, hands it away to DJ. Big hold to the two. Runs through a tackle, and he speeds into the end zone. Touchdown, men of Troy. And UAB jumps there, but they get back in time. Robert Taylor's got plenty of leg. He'll put it up, and he got it. Clutch. Trying to move the football right to left. Perry will fake right, set up a screen. Left, it's intercepted. It's intercepted. Jimmy Anderson jumps the route. He's down at the 12-yard line. Holy smokes. On third and five from the six to the air again. He looks, looks, throws over the middle. Nice diving try. Touchdown, men of Troy. The 10 score. Here's Corey. Throwing to the middle. That's a nice catch by Thomas to the 15. Button hooks to the 10. Steps out of a tackle at the 10. And he will walk into the end zone. Touchdown. Men of Troy. Long count by Browning. Here comes a three-man rush. Steps up, steps up. Massacre. Got him. Relentlessness, Jonathan Massaqua. Three yard line, empty set for Hampton. Quickly throws to the near side. Chitty, a former high school quarterback, wants to throw back the other way. There's Hampton with a whole bunch of blockers. He's to the 30, he's to the 23 yard line and gets spilled there. First and goal from the three after an 11 yard run by Taylor. Here's Southward and he's in. Dives for the touchdown. Men of Troy. He went airborne from three yards out. In the Trojans' only midweek game of the season, Tony Davis came up with one of the biggest plays with a scoop and score from 30 yards out. Now, the Trojans did eventually fall in overtime to the Golden Panthers. Door here on their opening possession of the third quarter. D.J. Taylor hit at the line of scrimmage. He powers in for a touchdown. Men of Troy. Trojans head to the line on fourth down. They bring six. Robinson throws to the end zone. Looks for Worthy. Got it. Touchdown. Men of Troy. Goal from just outside the four. Southward again. No, this is Robinson. Keeps it himself. Great cut at the three. And he will trot into the end zone. Corey Robinson. Touchdown. Men of Troy. It's seven again for the Mean Green. Thompson sets to throw. Here comes pressure. Miles hits him as he throws, and it's intercepted by the Trojans. They'll say Jimmy Anderson got his hands underneath it. To the far side. Right out to the near side is Richardson. Floyd, the Wildcat, mishandles the snap. Loose on the ground. Trojans cover it. Brandon Bryan. The Trojans back at it quickly. Robinson again goes his shot downfield. Wide open Thomas. He'll make the catch at the 15. He's off to the races. He will score. Touchdown. Men of Troy, 57 yards. Wide outs either way. Robinson ready to throw. He throws downfield. Looks for his man. Corey Johnson got it. 15, 10, stumbles at the six-yard line. Corey Johnson made a great adjustment on the ball. Straight drop by Robinson. Double pumps, throws, got his man complete. Wide open, worthy 10. He's at the five, and he'll dive for the pylon. He's got it. Touchdown, men of Troy, 35 yards for Chandler Worthy, the true freshman out of Hampton, Georgia.
And what a way to end the season by making Sports Center. It was Eric Thomas with the heads up play after being met at the 15 yard line by a couple of defenders, pinched the ball back to fellow receiver Felton Payton, who was waiting with open arms, who finished the job for the Trojan touchdown. Now it's a new year and a new season. And while the season may still be five months away, the Trojans had a chance to put on the pads for their first full scrimmage of the year at the annual T Day. Well, there were some big plays on both sides of the ball. There were some bad plays on both sides of the ball, some things happening. But, you know, we got a lot of tape to learn from, and hopefully if we, if we keep pounding the same things and the right things, we'll get better. The Trojans are nearly halfway through the spring practice schedule now, and defensive back Brendan Trawick says this game helps the team identify their strengths and weaknesses. Spring game is a, probably pretty much an evaluator on where we are right now as a team. Um, we got better um, today. Um, we started out slow, but we picked it up at the end. While the defense may have started slow, that means the offense got on the board early, which is exactly what they were looking to do. The Trojans were held scoreless in the first quarter in seven games last season, and quarterback Corey Robinson knows how important getting off to a hot start can be. Yeah, we jumped out on them pretty quick there. Uh, you know, I felt like we did some good things offensively. But, you know, it's always good to get going early. It's something that we haven't done uh, in the past. Uh, you know, something that we've uh, harped on this offseason offensively. Uh, Coach, and you know, getting started early is always a good key to you having some good confidence. You know, we just came out to get better and compete. So I felt like you know everybody did a great job. We we're pretty decent on offense when all those guys, all those elements are there. The running backs ran awfully good today, I thought. We blocked it pretty good up front. Son. The running game was consistent Saturday, but the receiving core has been the area with the most questions dating back to last season. The Trojans had over 15 receivers with receptions last year and will be adding two former Trojans in Chip Reeves and Jamel Johnson back into the equation. A lot of things go into Chip and, and Jamel. I mean, Jamel's a big, powerful guy that can run deep. Chip can go deep when they know he's going deep. And that's, that's a, you know, you throw it up to him just about any time you need to. Really great, you know, having those guys back, giving them a second chance. Uh, you know, obviously they're playmakers, as you saw here today. At any given time, you know, they can take it the whole way. Um, also, we got Eric and uh, Chip and, uh, you know, a couple guys we had back from last year, too. One of those players who stepped up last season was Chandler Worthy, who was thrown into the mix as a true freshman. And Worthy proved himself worthy, playing in all 12 of the Trojans' games and racking up over 950 all-purpose yards. You know, he just about had to last year. We, we really would have struggled. You know, Chandler, is a, he's, a, he's a great kid. I came in kind of fresh last year, kind of. Didn't know any of the players had to get into it pretty fast, but now I feel like I'm in it pretty smooth and I'm going to have a pretty good year this year. That's also what the defense is hoping to do. After a less than stellar year defensively, the Trojans will be looking to rebound in 2012, and they had the chance to start that journey at T-Day. Made a couple mistakes today, cleaned them up towards the end, and uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to be looking good come season. There were a few players who started off hot. Brendan Trawick got an interception for a pick six against Robinson, and Blakeney knows how crucial those plays can be. Had a big play on interception for a touchdown, which will win a game for him. I seen the tight end come across. I jumped him, and the quarterback made a, made a pass, and I caught the ball and ran for the touchdown. The secondary is where the team seemed to struggle last year. Blakeney has hired a new cornerbacks coach in Julius Brown, but the improvements in the play still have to be made. I saw some guys in the secondary making mistakes on, on the, the whole coverage, and, and it may be that we need to continue to simplify defensively and just try to find players. The team may not have jumped out on defense, but did seem to build momentum during the game, and finishing strong is something they knew they had to work on. Last season, in 9 of 12 games, the Trojans were in the lead or down by 10 or less at halftime, but unable to finish out the game. If you look back uh, before halftime, it was 10 to 7 games, you know, 7 to 3 games. They were really close, but just had to really focus on finishing, finishing the whole game. And if we can do that, we'll be successful. While there are still areas that need improvement, the defense is looking to come back strong in 2012. Been one of the, I think, 90 in the nation in defense. Yeah, we were definitely hungry getting back to where we was. We're still progressing as a deep coming off a of, um, season we came off of last year. We're still progressing. We still going over the next couple of weeks we still got to progress even more. But Taylor says that isn't just a goal among defensive players. As far as the team together, offensive defense, you know, there's no segregation at all. You know, everybody's, you know, all together and we we're all aiming at one goal and that's the one football game. You know, everybody's coming out, you know, especially in the weight room, you know, the intensity has uh, strengthened. 
you know, practice, everything is uh, just intensified, so we're continuing to uh, get better. The Trojans have two more scrimmages left during spring practice, but they're already looking ahead to the 2012 season. We're thinking about the first game. We're ready. We're trying to play the first game right now. Can't wait to get back out there. Um, we're ready. The air is clear here. I'm just telling you, it's a lot better environment. And we, you know, that don't mean a thing until we go play somebody and beat them. But I think if we can get to a point where we play somebody and beat them, then it's going to, be, it's going to take off for us. Stick around. We'll be right back with more Trojan Sports Now. Trojan Sports Now.